so show day we are leaving in 30 minutes to get the tanning I haven't slept at all last night um, I was just so fucking thirsty my body just didn't want to fall asleep it was pretty long night um, but condition is pretty good actually I'm happy with that I'm extremely happy with the condition um, everything has went according to the plan no mislips, nothing so everything has just been very fluid uh, stomach is great <laughs> even though I've been I've been actually I just calculated how much carbs I've been eating and it was over 3000 grams during these last three days so I've been just eating non-stop uh, the past three days pretty much uh, right now I had a sip of water with vitamin C and black cup of coffee and I'm having the sodium loading so I have some ham um, some toast with jelly and just finishing up everything so still smiling even, even though I didn't sleep it's gonna be a really fun day really looking forward to it but most of all what I'm looking for is getting to drink water because I'm so fucking thirsty guys I'm just so thirsty uh, but yeah it, it's the name of the game you know um, the dehydration is part of the process part of the game I think it's one of the most annoying part of the bodybuilding competitions I mean I'm all good with the traveling the dieting the cardio the tanning everything you know even the <laughs> the weird strings that we wear on the stage but dude that, that dehydration is just fucking annoying but there's always the flip side you know once it's done you get to drink the water and it feels fucking amazing because even though you get to satisfy your thirstiness after 10 minutes it's it comes straight back like the whole day you just keep getting thirsty no matter how much you drink and it just feels fucking amazing, you know, the feeling, you know, when you're like extremely thirsty and you get like that cold water, ice cold water or like a lemonade or a cola zero or whatever you want to drink. You get that and just drink and oh, the satisfaction is amazing. So there's always the flip side on that. But right now I'm still kind of suffering about the dehydration but I'm just trying to document all the feelings and the whole process to you guys so you know what is really up you know doing these bodybuilding shows like not sleeping dieting feeling anxious getting drunk or whatever it is you know so I'm just trying to show you guys everything that comes when you're doing a bodybuilding show and what it really is all about because usually you see a guy on a stage flexing posing fucking straight it full on just see all that shredded shit but you don't really see the work behind it you don't see those shots all the gear all the dieting all the cardio the tanning the suffering the uh, sleepless nights you don't see that you you never see that on the stage you know or in the videos so that's what i'm trying to document here just show the real emotions about doing a show and what it's really about so hope you guys really enjoy it because doing this documentary or filming it takes a toll on us obviously you know <laughs> even though just doing a fucking filming but here I am sitting talking to a camera even though I could be focusing just eating drinking my coffee and all that and dragging the camera around all everywhere and just showing part of your life so guys if you like this video and appreciate it be sure to give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and tell about this video to your fellow gym buddies you know just you know spread the word if you really enjoy this video but make a long story short let's finish up this coffee eat a couple of toast and then we're on the road sleeping <laughs> I have mastered my balance so good that I could actually sleep while standing. Only very rare people can do this. <laughs> oh. 
I'm about to take a huge pot of shit. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna finish it. Don't fart now. <laughs> Dude, the, lately, every time I, I fart it, it's been kind of risky, like, <laughs> when, I, when I've been sleeping, I've been like, can I fart? Oh, well, I got underwear on, so if, if accidents happen, you know, I'll catch it, it doesn't hit the bed. First night, I couldn't sleep with you. Yeah. But you looked pretty awesome. Yeah. Look at that. At least I'm gonna have the biggest guns in the show. <laughs> no one can top this, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Vane. Oh, he's soft. Yeah, I'm tired. Now, now I could sleep. This would be a lot more fun if I could have slept, but you know. I don't think I've had this problem before in my other competitions. But I didn't I... sleep too. No. Very good. No, you didn't. No. See what, what you're doing. <laughs> I don't want to go into the tanning room while having my my posing trunks on it because it gets the color. Yeah. And I don't have a long enough dick to go there naked either. So I'm doing a cover up. I want to feel comfortable, so I'm putting second. Whitest boy in the room. Yeah. Guess who's from Finland, huh? <laughs>
Tem uma outra categoria mais tarde. So, I placed second on the first category. Everything went according to the plan. Um, my idea was to bring mass to the stage and I did that. I was the biggest guy on stage. I was not the leanest, so I, I think that's why I became second. Totally happy with the placing, totally happy with the judging. Um, I came to do a bodybuilding show. I didn't, do, I didn't come here to do a bodybuilding contest. I, I don't really care about the placing as much. I just want to bring the best package and I did that, so I'm extremely happy. Right now we're waiting for the second category, which is going to be with a lot bigger guys, so I think I'm gonna place a little less, I suppose, but that doesn't matter. I wanna do better posing this time. Right now, I'm extremely thirsty. I just wanna drink, but I can't because I gotta wait for the second category and I don't wanna get bloated, so. Um, yeah, now we're chilling, waiting for the second category. I gotta get some <laughs> paint up again because um, the color went off. But yeah, so far so good. We are very happy. Yes. Team Trio. Oh, yeah. Alejandro is my personal. Um, Alejandro is our secret not Let's go.
¡A muchísimo! Day after the show, um, yesterday after the competition we went for a pizza and just relaxed. We didn't take a camera with us because we just wanted to take the time for ourselves. We were so happy and tired and I slept well. Today we came to the Brazilian bodybuilding mecca with this overall gym here in Balneário Cambriu. We came here to train, always after the contest you just get insane pumps because you know you probably eat something a lot of sodium water carbs at the show and after the show so the next day you will gain like the craziest pumps you don't have to do much just a couple reps and the muscle just fills up so we came here to enjoy the post show pump and we ate some protein pancakes here at the diner and now we are heading home to see our fellow birds. They haven't seen us for four days now, so we're happy to leave and we are making new plans for the next show. So guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Tervetuloa Kehorakennuskouluun! Kehorakennuskoulu on verkossa käytävä personal training kurssi, jossa sä valmistut itsesi sekä muiden ihmisten valmentajaksi. Kurssi on verkossa ja sä voit käydä sitä itse omaan vapaaehtoiseen tahtiin. Kaikki opintoluennot tapahtuvat videoselityksinä, joten sun ei käytännössä tarvitse tehdä mitään muuta kuin katsoa videota ja ottaa muistinpanoja ylös.
Kerrokennuskouluissa käydä läpi niin anatomia, jotta sä opit ja ymmärrät, mitä lihaksia ylipäätään ihmisessä on, miten niitä treenataan kuntosalilla, miten sä luot sun oman treeniohjelman, ruokavalion sekä lisäarvoinen suunnitelmat. Kehorakennuskoulun valmentajana tietysti toimii minä henkilönä itse kilpailuva kehorakentaja, jolla ei ole pelkästään tieteellinen tieto, vaan myöskin käytännön kokemus. Tässä kurssissa on siis mun 14 vuoden kokemus ja tiede, jonka eteen mä olen nähnyt erittäin paljon aikaa ja vaivaa sekä kuluttanut suuria summia rahaa tämän tiedon oppimisen eri valmentajilta ympäri maailmaa, jopa maailmanmestareilta. Kerrokennuskoulussa käydään myös läpi, miten sä voit valmentaa muita ihmisiä ja miten sä voit tehdä rahaa sosiaalisella medialla ja tehdä tästä itsellesi ammatin. Tämä on sellainen kurssi, että jos mä olisin saanut tämän aikaisemmin vaikka 18-vuotiaana käsiksi, niin tällä hetkellä mä olisin kaksi kertaa isompi ja luultavasti jo taloudellisesti eläkkeellä. Tutustu tarkempaan kurssisuunnitelmaan tämän sivun alareunassa. Siellä on listattu kaikki, mitä tämä kurssi pitää sisällään. Mä haluan toivottaa sut lämpimästi tervetulleeksi kerrokennuskouluun. Jos sulla on jotain kysymyksiä kurssiin liittyen, niin lähetä mulle vaikka kysymyksiä Instagramin DMn kautta. Nähdään kerrokennuskoulun puolella.